Hello diecast fans and welcome to a new episode of Jim's Magnificent Miniature Motor Cars. Now I know what I said, I said that there was a distinct possibility that with the last episode I posted I would be done for the month of December depending on what was available and well as it happens something good was available. A few cars in fact. So this is the first of a series that I'll be unboxing over the next few days. This is a Hot Wheels car culture. Lamborghini is an Essenza SV, SCV12. Part of their uh, exotic Envy lineup. Okay, this was something I had on pre-order that I'd honestly forgotten about. But I'm glad I was able to get hold of it before the year ended. Okay, without any further ado, let's unbox the car. interesting oh, that, uh, it's a pretty interesting cabin it's a fairly interesting cabin interesting bodywork and they got um, side mirrors which as many of you know isn't always a given with Hot Wheels can't really see inside the cabin to see how well they've replicated it. So I can't tell you if the steering wheel is well done or if it basically sprouts from the floor of the car, like the case was with the Countach. But I don't know, from what I can see, it looks pretty good. Anyway, let's have a look at how this car compares to the real Lamborghini uh, Essenza SCV12. Hmm. Okay. Now, okay, you guys know, and I've been pretty vocal about this for anyone who's been following this series, that I've become increasingly disenchanted with these Hot Wheels car culture cars. But truth be told, I've been trying to keep an open mind. Okay, and fortunately, fortunately, that patience can be rewarded every now and again like this this car it's still not great i mean again we're talking about a car that costs about as much as a mini gt okay these are nine dollar cars so you basically have again you have a dollar car dressed up as a nine dollar car but at least in the case of cars like this, here, you have at least what appears to be some effort to make it look worth the premium. Okay, so yeah, we got the rubber tires, we got the steel chassis. But more important than that, we have some pretty good uh, decos, okay? So I'm gonna recognize the effort Mattel took here and I'm gonna score this a I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. All right. Yeah. Could they have done better? Maybe. For the price? Maybe. But yeah, I think this is pretty decent work by Mattel, even taking the premium into account. So 8.5 out of 10. All right. And that's it for this unboxing. There will be a couple more to come. So stick around. For those of you who just got here, I hope you like this video and I hope you'll consider giving me a like and a subscribe and hitting that notification bell.